Today we're going to explore the waterfront real estate in Westport. Since my childhood, I'd hang off the bow of the boat and ask my dad, an avid boater all of his life, about the coastline and the islands in the area. It's fair to say that it's been one of my passions for some time. Today I'm going to share with you some of that knowledge so you can decide which Westport waterfront neighborhood might be the best fit for you. We'll take a look at the views, the homes, and what's nearby. Let's go. If you're new to the channel, my name's Charlie Vinci. I'm a Westport Realtor. My team and I have put together a special report that accompanies this video. The Westport Waterfront Market Report lists all the active, pending, and sold waterfront homes in Westport. You can find it at the link on the screen. Let's start in Saugatuck Shore. There are actually two neighborhoods here. To the left of the line is Saugatuck Shore, and to the right of the line is Saugatuck Island. They are separated by a narrow body of water. Saugatuck Shore hosts the tranquil Bermuda Lagoon, which as you can see is an excellent place for a dock. This bay is accessible at all tides, making it a boater's dream. In fact, there's no other place quite like this lagoon in the entire Gold Coast. Many of the homes in both neighborhoods have private beaches in addition to the two community beaches. On the west side of Saugatuck Island, you will have the Cedar Point Yacht Club. If you're a sailboat owner or want to be one, you'll definitely want to check them out. They have a well-protected deep water marina and host several regattas every year. While we're here, it's also worth pointing out that the north side of Saugatuck Island is also an excellent place for a deep water dock that is accessible at all tides. The views to the west look over Canfield Island, which is partially in Westport and partially in Norwalk. To the left, you'll see Sprite Island, which is part of the Sprite Island Yacht Club. You probably noticed the cluster of islands just beyond Sprite Island. They are part of Norwalk, and you can learn more about these gems in our Norwalk waterfront tour. To the south, you'll see Kakini Island, which is public. It's one of my favorites because of the crescent-shaped sandy beach that is well protected by the bay. It's accessible by boat or kayak. Your views off to the east are of Campo Beach, Hall Island, and the public Longshore Golf Club, which I'll show you shortly. Next, let's head over to the neighborhood of Saugatuck, not to be confused with Saugatuck Shore and Saugatuck Island that we just explored. In the southern part of the neighborhood, you have the Saugatuck Harbor Yacht Club. It hosts a mix of power and sailboats, and just north of the club, you'll notice that several of the homes have docks and a few have small private beaches. Some of these docks are accessible at all tides. This is an excellent location if you want a waterfront home that is walkable to the Westport train station, which will get you to Grand Central Station in about 65 minutes. By the way, many of Westport's best restaurants are right near the train station, so this is an excellent place to eat while you're visiting the area. If you were looking to the east from the southern part of the Saugatuck neighborhood, most of the views would be of the Campo Beach neighborhood on the other side, and depending on your exact orientation, you may see Campo Beach itself. In the northern part of the Saugatuck neighborhood, the views are over the Saugatuck River, and you may see the railroad bridge, the I-95 bridge, and the car bridge that allows foot traffic and automobiles to access the east side of town. Continue to travel north, the views are mostly of residential homes on the other side of the river until you reach the high-end waterfront shopping in town. Let's take a look at the spectacular shopping area. The in-town shopping area in Westport is the best waterfront shopping along the entire Gold Coast. The town is working hard to develop this area while keeping the historic feel, and it shows. There's so much to talk about here that it could be a whole video in and of itself. So if you're seriously considering Westport, I'd encourage you to explore our Westport neighborhood tour where you can learn more. Let's go take a look at another of Westport's gems, the neighborhood of Combo Beach. On the west side of the Combo Beach neighborhood, you have larger lots and docks that have excellent access to the harbor. You also have the Longshore Golf Course, which is public and said to be an excellent course. Longshore also hosts an inn, a skating rink in the winter, a sailing school, and a small public marina. The views to the west look over the Saugatuck River towards the Stony Point Peninsula and the neighborhood of Saugatuck. To the south of the Longshore Club, you will find the beautiful Hall Island, most of which is two building lots wide. Views from Hall Island to the southwest are of the peninsula of Saugatuck Shore and Saugatuck Island and to the south, off in the distance, is Kakini Island. To the southeast, you would look over the marina to Campo Beach, 
and to the north, you would gaze over Gray's Creek to the Longshore Park and Golf Course. Paul Island is just steps away from the town's favorite public beach, Compo Beach, this V-shaped beach has beautiful sand, ball fields, a concession stand, a playground, and more. You'll also find the Ned Dimes Marina right next door, which is public. Just north of Compo Beach, you'll find the lots to be smaller with easy access to the beach, and the lots get larger as you move away from the beach. Views to the east are of the state-owned Sherwood Island Beach and Park, which I will show you shortly. Looking northeast from the Compo neighborhood, you'd see the small island of Campo Mill Cove and the public Old Mill Beach. The island of Campo Mill Cove is accessible by a walking bridge from the Old Mill Beach parking lot, and occasional vehicle access can be had for special reasons like movers and landscapers. You will find Campo Mill Cove to be a spectacular location for a summer home. To the north of Campo Mill Cove is a relatively shallow tidal pond called Sherwood Mill Pond. All right, let's take a look at the Sherwin Island State Park. I thought you'd appreciate the beautiful V-shaped sandy beach that is part of this expansive state park, as well as the sweeping views over Long Island Sound. Next, let's head over to the neighborhood of Green's Farms. On the way, you'll see the small Burying Hill Beach, which tends to be less crowded than the others. The estates in Green's Farms are also some of the finest available along the Gold Coast. These homes are just a few minutes from the Greens Farms train station, which will get you to Grand Central in about 70 minutes. The lots are large and flat, many of them with private beaches, and they offer sweeping views of Long Island Sound. A few of the lots look east with views of Fairfield Beach and the beautiful neighborhood of Southport. Southport often tops the best neighborhoods in the U.S. lists, and you can learn more about it in our Fairfield Waterfront Tour. If you're thinking about buying a home in Westport, call me. I'd like to work with you. While you're at it, head over to my site and grab the Waterfront report that I've created for you. I look forward to hearing from you.